Dear YouTubers, this is a uh, Crow Crusader, DC Tim, and um, I wanted to. I had spoken briefly in one of the other videos that I wanted to bring something to your attention, and um, this is concerning an incident uh, that happened uh, on the seventh of July, and uh, while I was feeding the birds, after I was on my way back. Uh, one of the janitors of the uh, uh, elementary school here in our area uh, verbally um, abused me, assaulted me, and um, uh, tried to take video and uh, pictures of me. This person has been doing this for the last three years, stalking me, verbally assaulting me, taking video and photos, and one time, she uh, drove out of the parking lot, and uh, out of the school parking lot, to the front of my building. And uh, if I hadn't jumped out of the way, she would have run me over, just so she could pull down her window and scream at me. So, and my husband is uh, witness to this. He's also witness to these other events, and. Um, she has no business telling me what to do 300 meters away um, that has nothing to do with her life or um, school property or anything else etc so um, her actions are actually violations uh, of certain uh, criminal code here in switzerland i have done nothing to uh, violate any um, criminal codes, except that I did um, take video of her, but I did tell her I was taking video of her, and I asked her if it was okay, and she did not answer me. Well, any reasonable person would think that no answer could be construed as a yes or no. I construed it as a yes because I wanted her opinion of why she uh, hates the birds and uh, why she's doing all these things to me the last few years. Of course, I could have gone to the police and shut this down right away, but I try to let these things slip and, um, and always they backfire on me. Well, after that verbal assault, um, on last Wednesday, July 7th, I uh, went and got my GoPro. She was out cutting the hedge of the school, on the school property, doing some garden work. And I gave her an opportunity to uh, voice her opinion as to why she was doing these things and why she disliked the birds and why she was interfering with uh, my feeding of the wild birds. I wanted to honestly hear her opinion, and I gave her that opportunity. She didn't answer me, so I continued the film for about two minutes, um, hoping that she would say something as I was speaking, and then I walked away. Then, the next day, I received this letter from a lawyer representing the school district, saying that... Um, I had filmed children. I did film her, but I thought I was having, I had her consent, but obviously I was wrong. I deleted the video that was on my YouTube channel, took it down right away. And, um, but they accused me of taking video of children. Well, I already know this is against the law and I already know as having um, a YouTube channel, this is against YouTube's regulations. I would never do that. That is absolutely a lie, an outright lie. And um, she also, this letter accuses me of saying that she hates and abuses birds. Well, I think any reasonable person would construe that over the years. Her actions toward the birds, observed by uh, many people who love animals here, and my husband and myself, and her actions against me. Uh, yes, YouTubers, 
what kind of opinion would you reach? Um, so I, uh, I stand by that. I stand by that comment. Um, that is, that has been proven over and over again. There was an incident two years ago when I was walking, uh, through the school, through the schoolyard, because there is a, a walking path where local citizens are allowed to, uh, um, walk through the, walk through the school grounds to get from one major road to the other. And uh, as, I, as I came across on my way to reach the, uh, the other major road bordering the school, I came across uh, one of the crows, one of the oldest crows here, one of the largest crows. And uh, uh, he was laying down on the lawn and uh, of, the, uh, of the school property and I examined him because he, he, he didn't look very good. Um, he couldn't walk and obviously he couldn't fly. He was just, um, just kind of laying there and I saw that he'd been shot. There was a hole in his wing. He had been shot. And that is my observation. I did not have my cell phone with me, but I will swear in a court of law, I will take the stand and uh, swear before God that there was a hole in his wing. He had been shot and there was blood. Well, the husband of this particular janitor was working in the garden. He looked at the bird. He was a couple meters away. Uh, I told him I was going to get a box and call the, um, the animal hospital in Zurich if I could bring him down there. And I told him it'd be about five minutes. He said that crows were bad. And I just looked at him. Um, well, what was I gonna argue? My main concern was to get this bird as quickly as possible to the animal hospital. I was gone no longer than five minutes because I live very close to the school. And I came back, the, uh, the husband of the janitor was gone and the bird was gone. The bird was gone. No, I searched that whole property. There was no bird and there was no husband of the janitor. Now, being a logical person, being a reasonable person, knowing how he feels about birds, knowing that he's voiced that opinion to others as well, um, I could only come to the conclusion and uh, as a reasonable person putting the facts together that he did something to the bird. In my opinion, he killed the bird and disposed of it. Why? I don't know. I can only assume perhaps he shot the bird. Of course, that's just an assumption, but I don't know. If I were a detective gathering the facts, Although circumstantial evidence, I would come to that conclusion. I can't, can't come to any other conclusion. Doesn't mean he shot the bird, but, um, but I'm very confident uh, based on those facts um, and putting together my logic that there's a high possibility that he disposed of the bird.